Welcome to IDC Learning Center YouTube channel. We will be looking at five math tricks that will make math easier for you. Let's get started. We will be doing something quite exciting. We'll be looking at five math tricks that will make math easier for you. To get started, let's look at trick one. Trick one has to do with addition and subtraction. So I'm going to start with number like 49 plus 58. So, if you have an addition problem and you don't want to do it the conventional way, you can do it this other way. 49, let's expand it. You know that 49 is the same thing as 40 plus 9. This addition brings it down. 58 is the same thing as 50 plus 8. At this point, add the bigger numbers, which are round numbers. 40 plus 50 is 9. Plus, you can add the smaller numbers, 9 plus 8 is 17. Now, 7 unit plus 7 plus 0 is 7, 1 plus 9 is 10. You have your What if you have a subtraction problem, like 56 minus 38, alright? We are going to do the same thing we did earlier. So, we are going to expand 56, which will give me 50 plus 6 is 56. Now, this minus affects both digits. If you expand this, you have minus 30, and this will be minus 8 because I said the negative affects both of them. What do you do? This 50 is positive. 50 minus 30 will give me 20 plus 6 minus 8. Alright? So, 20 plus 6 minus 8 will give me minus 2. 20 minus 2 will give me 18. All right, let's look at trick two. This has to do with multiplication problem. Here is the trick here, or the shortcut. Start by multiplying the units. Six times four will give us 24. Then you go over and multiply the tens. For these other things, after two, what comes next? Three. Two times three is six. So 26 times 24 will give me 624. To the next one, multiply the units together. 3 times 7 will give me 21. Over to the tenth. After 3, what comes next? 4. 3 times 4, 12. 33 times 37 will give me 1,221. The third one, to the unit, 2 times 8, 16. After 4, what comes next? 5. 4 times 5 is 20. 42 times 48 will give me 2016. The fourth one, the unit 7 times 3, 21. After 5, what comes next? 6. 5 times 6, 30. My answer is 3021. For the last question here, 4 times 6, of course, I said always multiply the unit together, will give me 24. Now, to the tens, after 6, what comes next? 7. 6 times 7, 42. So, 64 times 66 is 4,234. This has to do with square of any number. So, if you have a question like this to do, all you need to do, instead of trying to use long multiplication and waste your time, just rule three lines. Okay? Now, start from the first digit here, 6. 6 square, leave a space, then to the extreme end, the second digit, 2 square. Alright, then multiply the digits inside the bracket, which is 6 times 2, times the square, which is also 2. 6 square means 6 times 6, 36. 6 times 2, 12. 12 plus 2, 24. 2 square means 2 times 2, which is 4. That's all. To get your answer, bring down this 4. This is unit and tens. Bring out the unit, which is 4. The tens added to this 6, 2 plus 6, 8. Bring down the last digit, 3. So bring down this 3, bring down this 4. This is unit 4, bring it down, then 2 plus 6, 8. Okay? Alright, another example on trick 3. I'm going to print 3 spaces. Remember, I said this is for square numbers. Now, the first place, 5 square, write it here. 4 square, write it at the extreme end. Multiply everything in the bracket. It will be in the middle now. 5 times 4 times the square. 
times 2. 5 squared means 5 times 5, which is 25. 5 times 4 is 20. 20 times 2 is 40. 4 squared means 4 times 4, which is 16. Bring down this 6. 1 plus 0 is 1. 4 plus 5 is 9. Then bring down this 2. So bring down the 2, bring down the 6. 1 plus this is this. 4 plus this is this. Now. For trick 4, it has to do with cube of any number. If they ask you to find the cube of any number, like what we have here, just bring down the digits in the brackets. So we have 1 and 2, right? Now for the second digit, square it. 2 square means 2 times 2, which is 4. You get the third digit. To get the last digit, find the cube of the same digit. 2 times 2 times 2 will give me 8. That is all. Then bring down this 8. Bring down this 1. Okay? Bring down the 8, bring down the 1. Then double 4 is 8. Double 2 is 4. 8 plus 4, 12. 2, put down 1 here. 4 plus 2, 6 plus 1, 7. We have our answer. For Q of a number like this, I said bring out all the digits in the bracket. So I'm going to bring out 1 and 3. To get the next two digits, square this number, 3 times 3 is 9, then find the cube of 3. 3 times 3 times 3, 3 places will give me 27. Okay, then double the two middle numbers. 9 plus 9 is 18. 3 plus 3 will give me 6. That is all. Okay, to get our answer, bring down this 7, which is the unit in 27. This 2, move it over here. 18 plus 9 is 27, plus 2, 29. 9, bring down 2 here. 6 plus 3, 9, plus 2, 11. 1, bring down 1 here, 1 plus 1, 2. We have our answer. For trick 5, whenever you have an expression like this, I want to show you an easy way to solve a problem like this. So, draw two vertical lines. Let me bring it closer. Two vertical lines two horizontal lines. Go to the first bracket. The x here, bring it down here. The two, bring it over here. To the next bracket, this x, bring it to the base here. This three, bring it here. So for the first bracket, we have x and two. The next bracket, we have x and three. Now multiply. Two times x will give me two x. Three times x will give me three x. Three times two will give me six. Three x, x times x will give me x squared. Once you are done multiplying around, add the middle terms. 3x plus 2x will give me 5x. So what you have in the middle is your answer. So this and this will give me x squared. This is positive number plus 5x plus 6. Let's look at a different example. What if we have a negative symbol like what we have here? Let's draw our two vertical lines and two horizontal lines, okay? The x, bring it here, minus 2, bring it here. The x, bring it here, plus 3, which is just 3, bring it here. Minus 2 times x will give me minus 2x. 3 times minus 2 will give me minus 6. x times x will give me x squared. 3 times x will give me 3 x all right multiply round like we did in the previous example now what you have here add them together minus 2x this is plus 3x can also be rewritten as 3x you are adding this minus 2x i'll be left with x here so what i have here is my answer my answer is x squared plus x minus 6. all right Thank you very much for staying with me. I'm sure you enjoyed these math tricks. I'll be bringing a lot of other shortcuts your way. I don't want you to forget to subscribe to our DC Learning Center YouTube channel if you've not done that. For now, I'm going to say bye. See you.